Integers. Integers are whole numbers with no fractional component, such as 42 and negative 23. Integers are either signed, positive, zero, or negative, or unsigned, positive, or zero. Swift provides signed and unsigned integers in the 8, 16, 32, and 64-bit forms. These integers allow a naming convention similar to C in that 8-bit unsigned integer is of type uint8, and a 32-bit signed integer is of type int32. Like all types in Swift, these integer types have capitalized names. Integer bounds. You can access the minimum and maximum values of each integer type with its min and max properties. The values of these properties are of the appropriate size number type, such as uint8 in the example above and can therefore be used in expressions alongside other values of the same type. int. In most cases, you do not need to pick a specific size of integer to use in your code. Swift provides an additional integer type, int, which has the same size as the current platform's native word size. On a 32-bit platform, int is the same size as int32. On a 64-bit platform, int is the same size as int64. Unless you need to work with a specific size of integer, always use int for integer values in your code. This aids code consistency and interoperability. Even on 32-bit platforms, int can store any value between negative 2.1 billion and positive 2.1 billion and is large enough for many integer ranges. uint. Swift also provides an unsigned integer type, uint, which has the same size as the current platform's native word size. On a 32-bit platform, uint is the same size as uint32. On a 64-bit platform, uint is the same size as uint64. Note, use uint only when you specifically need an unsigned integer type with the same size as the platform's native word size. If this is not the case, int is preferred even when the values to be stored are known to be non-negative. A consistent use of int for integer values aids code interoperability avoids the need to convert between different number types, and matches integer type inference as described in type safety and type inference. Floating point numbers. Floating point numbers are numbers with a fractional component, such as 3.14159, 0 0.1, or negative 273.15. Floating point types can represent a much wider range of values than integer types and can store numbers that are much larger or smaller than can be stored in an int. Swift provides two signed floating point number types. Double represents a 64-bit floating point number. Float represents a 32-bit floating point number. Note, double has a precision of at least 15 decimal digits, whereas the precision of float can be as little as six decimal digits. The appropriate floating point type to use depends on the nature and range of values you need to work with in your code. In situations where either type would be appropriate, double is preferred. Type safety and type inference. Swift is a type safe language. A type safe language encourages you to be clear about the types of values your code can work with. If part of your code requires a string, you cannot pass it an int by mistake. Because Swift is type safe, it performs type checks when compiling your code and flags any mismatched types as errors. This enables you to catch and fix errors as early as possible in the development process. Type checking helps you avoid errors when you're working with different types of values. However, this does not mean that you have to specify the type of every constant and variable that you declare. If you do not specify the type of value you need, Swift uses type inference to work out the appropriate type. Type inference enables a compiler to deduce the type of a particular expression automatically when it compiles your code simply by examining the values you provide. Because of type inference, Swift requires far fewer type declarations than languages such as C or Objective-C. Constants and variables are still explicitly typed, but much of the work of specifying their type is done for you. Type inference is particularly useful when you declare a constant or variable with an initial value. This is often done by assigning a literal value or literal to the constant or variable at the point that you declare it. A literal value is a value that appears directly in your source code, such as 42 
and 3.14159. For example, if you assign a literal value of 42 to a new constant without specifying what type it is, Swift infers that you want the constant to be an int because you have initialized it with a number that looks like an integer. Likewise, if you don't specify the type for a floating point literal, Swift infers that you want to create a double. Swift always chooses double rather than float when inferring the type of floating point numbers. If you combine integer and floating point literals in an expression, a type of double will be inferred from the context. The literal value of 3 has no explicit type in and of itself, and so an appropriate output type of double is inferred from the presence of a floating point literal as part of the addition. Numeric literals. Integer literals can be written as a decimal number with no prefix, a binary number with a 0b prefix, an octal number with a 0o prefix, a hexadecimal number with a 0x prefix. All of these integer literals have a decimal value of 17. Floating point literals can be decimal with no prefix or hexadecimal with a 0x prefix. They must always have a number or hexadecimal number on both sides of the decimal point. Decimal floats can also have an optional exponent indicated by an uppercase or lowercase e. Hexadecimal floats must have an exponent indicated by an uppercase or lowercase p. For decimal numbers with an exponent, the base number is multiplied by 10 to the exponent. 1.25e2 means 1.25 times 10 to the second power, or 125.0. 1.25e negative 2 means 1.25 times 10 to the negative second power, or 0 0.0125. For hexadecimal numbers with an exponent of exp, the base number is multiplied by 2 to the exponent. 0xfp2 means 15 times 2 squared, or 60. 0xfp negative 2 means 15 times 2 to the negative second power, or 3.75. All of these floating point literals have a decimal value of 12.1875. Numeric literals can contain extra formatting to make them easier to read. Both integers and floats can be padded with extra zeros and can contain underscores to help with readability. Neither type of formatting affects the underlying value of the literal. Numeric type conversion. Use the int type for all general purpose integer constants and variables in your code, even if they are known to be non-negative. Using the default integer type in everyday situations means that integer constants and variables are immediately interoperable in your code and will match the inferred type for integer literal values. Use other integer types only when they're specifically needed for the task at hand because of explicitly sized data from an external source or for performance, memory usage, or other necessary optimization. Using explicitly sized types in these situations helps to catch any accidental value overflows and implicitly documents the nature of the data being used. Integer conversion. The range of numbers that can be stored in an integer constant or variable is different for each numeric type. An int 8 constant or variable can store numbers between negative 128 and 127 whereas a uint8 constant or variable can store numbers between 0 and 255. A number that will not fit into a constant or variable of a sized integer type is reported as an error when your code is compiled. Because each numeric type can store a different range of values, you must opt into numeric type conversion on a case-by-case -case basis. This opt-in approach prevents hidden conversion errors and helps make type conversion intentions explicit in your code. To convert one specific number type to another, you initialize a new number of the desired type with the existing value. In the example below, the constant 2000 is of type uint16, whereas the constant 1 is of type uint8. They can't be added together directly because they are not of the same type. Instead, this example calls uint16 1 to create a new uint16 initialized with the value of 1 and uses this value in place of the original. Because both sides of the addition are now type uint16, the addition is allowed. The output constant, 
2001 is inferred to be of type uint16 because it is the sum of two uint16 values. Some type of initial value is the default way to call the initializer of a Swift type and pass in an initial value. Behind the scenes, uint16 has an initializer that accepts a uint8 value, and so this initializer is used to make a new uint16 from an existing uint8. You cannot pass in any type here, however. It has to be a type for which uint16 provides an initializer. Extending existing types to provide initializers that accept new types, including your own type definitions, is covered in extensions. Integer and floating point conversion. Conversions between integer and floating point numeric types must be made explicit. Here, the value of the constant 3 is used to create a new value of type double so that both sides of the addition are of the same type. Without this conversion in place, the addition would not be allowed. Floating point to integer conversion must also be made explicit. An integer type can be initialized with a double or float value. Floating point values are always truncated when used to initialize a new integer value in this way. This means that 4.75 becomes 4 and negative 3.9 becomes negative 3. Note, the rules for combining numeric constants and variables are different from the rules for numeric literals. The literal value 3 can be added directly to the literal value 0 0.14159 because number literals don't have an explicit type in and of themselves. Their type is inferred only at the point that they are evaluated by the compiler. I hope you find out this video useful. If you like the video, give it a like. Share it with your friends who wants to make their career in Swift. Do you have any suggestions regarding the content? Comments section is all yours. If you want the third part of this video, then do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.